What is up, guys? Welcome, welcome. What the fuck is happening? Hello, hello, welcome, welcome all. Let's listen to the headphones, see how it sounds. How are you all doing? Is the $500,000 real? No! I wish it was real. It'd be great for charity. It's not. Sadly, it's not. But I thought I would hop on uh, to come talk about stuff because I thought, why not? But yeah, no. So if you haven't seen, there is crazy bids going on. Now, now I won't lie. Um, even though the 500000 is fake, the, the real bidding number from what I can gather is still uh, very high. So I'm still not sad because I think it's still a crazy amount of money that's real. Um, but I need to double check. Like at least, at least like 30, I think is real. So that's still a crazy amount of money. Anyway, let's, let's see what I'm talking about. So if you don't know, um, I'm doing a charity auction July 19th, which I hope to see you guys there. Um, we're going to be doing a, a big, oh, good kid. Thank you for rating me. Appreciate it. Uh, we're doing a charity auction, as you all know. Um, hopefully you all know. It's going to be very fun. We have a ton of items, more than last year. So I have to really figure out how to speed up the show. Um, and then we today have been trying something new. Uh, we have been, uh, this year, we decided to, you know, to get some kind of hype going, to get some kind of uh, uh, people talking. We thought it'd be fun to have some of the items go live before the auction and end out during the auction, which I think was a great idea. Um, Dara, thank you for the 10 subs. So, so what we did is that we chose some of what we thought were going to be the most exciting items, and we allowed them to go live. Um, so, for example, uh, you, if you go to charity.cdopa.gg, which is where you should go, because that's where all the updates are going to be for all of the charity auction. Um, you know, this page right here. Um, this is where all the information uh, on the auction is going to be posted. So if you want to, you know, you want to check anything out, you want to keep up to date with what's going on in the auction, this is the page to go. Uh, this will tell you everything about when it's starting, although the timer is wrong. So I do need to talk to them about that. I need to message them about that. Um... Uh, but everything is going to be here about it. You know, if you want to attend in person, you can purchase VIP tickets here to attend IRL. Um, and then you can see who's going to be there IRL. There's, there's a lot more than that. We're just trying to update it. It's all last minute. We're trying to figure this out. Um, and then obviously we have a bunch of the items that went live. So we have uh, the Miyazaki uh, signed Elden Ring poster. We got the Pyro Software coin. We got the hangout session with me and Mouse. Uh, Pokemon hangout session. And Jaden Animations. Uh, 10 million subscriber play button. This is not Ludwig's. <laughs> this is Jaden. Jaden gave me... <laughs> Ludwig was like, I got a great idea. I'm going to auction off Jaden Animation's play button. And then I said... <laughs> I was like, oh. Jaden's already given me hers. <laughs> so, um, good luck. So, it's not... It's There is two of these in circulation. And Ludwig wanted to auction off his... But it's actually Jaden's that's being auctioned. So he's to find a new item, Bozo. He didn't know that. So now he's posting all about it. So that's a rip for him. Um, anyway, there'll be more items going up. So tomorrow, I think the PewDiePie painting is going up for auction. Uh, and then I think the next day, the Dark and Darker poster signed by the developers will go up for auction. And as you can see, there's constantly stuff being added. Um every day so you want to keep looking at this before the auction because a bunch of stuff's going to be added we have some really cool items up for sale um so it's gonna be fun and a lot of these are gonna be raffle so you know um you know for example the the uh iron mouse keyboard that's gonna be up for raffle so if you want to watch you want to throw in five bucks um you know there'll be a bunch of raffle items you want the garfield suit that'll be a raffle too so if you want to get in on these items uh, you want to put, you want to donate five dollars for charity? Maybe have a chance to get an item. You can. There's going to be a bunch of raffles, all right. So, you know, a lot of the people will talk about they're like, oh, I can't afford this item. It's going. To, obviously, I don't have 500k sitting around to play games of Pokemon. Don't worry, we got you. There's going to be a bunch of cool items that are going to go up for raffle. Um, so yes, a Miku car. Yes, that is an entire real car that is drivable and is skinned like Hatsune Miku that you can bid on. So. That is a real full-ass car. Just a real car. Uh, you have to pick that up yourself. No shot we can ship that to you. Uh, anyway, so what's been going on 
today, you know, actually, so we, we put the Elden Ring poster up and uh, Jack has been absolutely locking it down. Jack has not let anyone else have this. Um, so if someone wants this, you got to beat Jack. Yeah, I've, you know what I mean? You got, I, but uh, he's, he's determined. I don't know how you can outbid this man. I'm pretty sure he's going to go crazy. And then we put up the uh, official Pirate Software Challenge coin, which is uh, has has significant weight in Thor's lore and community. And the current bid is $5,500 for that, which is crazy. And then we have the uh, hangout session with me and Mouse, where we get to game uh, and ha just hang out. Um, and that's currently, and I believe this is a real bid, but from my understanding, uh, twenty thousand dollars five twenty thousand five hundred dollars uh these are real as far as i know um the 18 one is definitely real i'm pretty sure this one is also real i'm near certain this is real um uh, from what i've gathered i'm 100 sure this is real i, I, I could be lying though so 100 i purchased it baby but 20k is still crazy because that's what we that was the peak last time last auction and we're trying to, you know, the goal of this event is to raise as much money for charity, right? We're trying to raise as much money for charity. And I think a lot of people are losing sight of that. They're getting lost in the source, lost in the no the numbers. It's all about money. It's all about good cause. Remember, these 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 donations to charity in most countries are tax deductible. What I mean by that? It means that you can, at the end of the year, you can tell the government, be like, look, look, no, no, no. Don't tax me on this 20K. I spent it on charity. Um... And you can get your tax burden reduced. Now, obviously, you still have to spend 20K. So, you know, you're not saving money. But, you, you know, you just don't pay tax on that. Uh, we also have this one, which unfortunately right now, I believe has trolls. So, uh, the top bid is not real on this one, which is unfortunate. Now, obviously, the big news today is that uh, Pokimane, uh, <laughs> Pokimane has a uh, uh, her item up. And it's going for half a million, which is the actual, as I found out, which is the which is the limit that Tiltify allows. <laughs> is it real? It's not real. But the thing is, is that um, the real bid is still pretty high. The real bid is still... I, I, I'm, I could be wrong here, uh, but I think the real bid is at around 30, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Because uh, I think the Morgue one is real. I think. And I'm not sure which one of these. I The problem is I don't know. But if, even if it is, right? Even if it is real, my God. Uh, I think it's Morgue Pie. I, I'm pretty sure it's Morgue Pie, right? If I'm not mistaken. And Isaac is also, I think, real. If I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on all of that. But uh, again, I don't know. Either way, it's a crazy amount of money. And yeah, it, it's mind-blowing and i appreciate those people who are willing to donate money towards charity and get something cool for themselves so uh, a lot of the questions people are asking me and that i've been getting because i obviously have been dealing with this uh, for a little while is how are they doing this so to actually to enter it well first of all first of all actually before we before we say how are they doing it can we just, can we just mention this cringe it's super cringe to fake money for charity uh, I, you know what, I, I think that uh, there is nothing sadder you can fake in life than donating money to charity. Uh, and even if they're probably like, haha, funny, me and my 15 year old friends are gonna love this. I just think it's so sad that this is what they feel like they, they, <laughs> they should do. Someone said, I think it's funny. Okay, well, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, so the reason why they're kind of being slowly removed uh, is that it takes a little while on Tiltify's end to fully remove them and ban them. Uh, but part of what they're doing is using stolen credit cards because <laughs> you have to put a credit card in. So they're either fake or stolen credit cards. Um, and they're also using like different fake emails, fake addresses, all this kind of stuff. Um, because it actually requires you to put your uh, credit card in for verification. So they have to put a real credit card in. So it's kind of lame. By kind of lame, I mean like very fucking lame. Um, and apparently it, they're adding more measures so that it should be fixed by the auction day. So at least on auction day, uh, hopefully we should be getting just real bids. But it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to do 
It is a crazy amount of effort to do something that has no impact, right? Like, a lot of this stuff is just whatever. Um, like, it's going to be removed. Like, why would you do, commit fraud to add a fake bid to a charity auction? <laughs> Which is kind of crazy. Baze was really bidding. I don't think that was real, though. I mean, I'm happy for them to be like, listen, if that was a real bid, they are more, more than welcome to add it again, right? A bunch just got removed. So Tiltify are working very hard. They've been working the past couple of hours to make sure they're getting rid of fake bids. Again, some of these could still be fake, but I'm pretty sure some of these are real. So, because they just got rid of two accounts, so they got rid of all those bids. Some of these might be real. I, again, I think up to the Isaac one is definitely real. I don't know about these two. Um, it's hard to say. Um, Tiltify is working hard. They're working hard to make sure that there are no fake bids. Oh, what the? What is Durst doing? I had Durst tearing something up. Durst came to me earlier and was like humping my leg. Um. Making Tiltify work overtime. Well, listen, it's all for a good cause. Um, and the ones that were just like, there were people who were like signing up with like just racist names, which was also like, what, what, what is wrong with people? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with people? The J Jaden play button has trolls too. Yeah, I, I'm letting them know they're also removing these accounts. Um, so they get, they're all getting removed. But the one good thing is that the one thing that comes from all this this kind of yikes stuff of people faking bids, you do know this, is that there are at least more eyes on the show, which is great. You know, it's 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 helpful to have some publicity going, which is great. Because, um, you know, more people know about the show. And that's one thing that uh, I've had a hard time trying to promote the show just my end. So having this kind of stuff uh, is is fun. It's good that we can have some people talking about it, and it's great. Half a milli would be great. All I'm saying is, look, if someone wanted to donate half a mil, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> half a mil. This, I wish it was real because uh, the sad thing is, is that uh, I, you know, I I know how much this money helps people. I'm getting spammed up my butt. I know how much this money helps people, which is unfortunate that I. I really hope they... <laughs> oh, God. That's just not... Ew. God damn it, Connor. Vile. It's like a little like crust fell out my nose. So sorry, chat. Yikes. Imagine being disgusting. Um, I really hope that uh, they didn't see that fake bit and get their hopes up. Because, you know, like, uh, obviously we raised a million dollars, which was real. Um, we raised a real million dollars. Um, you know, but from, from all the hard work we did. And um, I, I got to speak to a lot of people who that the money actually helped. I got, you know, so many testimonials from people who had sent thanks to the Immune Deficiency Foundation, you know, saying like, thank you so much. Uh, this, this money really helped. You know, there's a lot of like people who get helped quite a lot from this money. And so I really hope that they didn't see that amount and get like really you know, excited because I, I was getting excited when it was going up. Like, is I, I I was believing it in the the thirty grand phase where it was real, and then when it was getting to like eighty, I was like, all right, this okay, this is this is ridiculous. But you know, I still think that this uh, this uh, this auction uh, is is hopefully going to raise more money than last year's, which is great. Because I'm losing money on this. The one hope is that we can raise a fuck ton of money. That's all I want. That's all I'm, my goal is with this event. So yeah. Can't wait for the auction. Can't be a bit excited. Yeah, look, I the the auction is an interesting one. The cyclethon is all about everyone just chipping in what they can. Five, one, ten dollars across two weeks. You know, maybe picking up some merch. It's all about just like, hey, how can how can every person chip in and, and help a, a great cause and hopefully get a, a great time doing it right. And the auction, I feel like, is a bit a bit different in the sense that like we're trying to find people who have too much money and trying to get them to part ways with it for a good cause uh, and give them something in return. Um, but also there are raffles, right? There's, there's, you can, you can view the show, uh, which, which it's so helpful. Like just watching and being there is by far the most helpful thing you can do. Uh, because if, if we have views, we can get more sponsors. We can do more shows. You know what I mean? 
Um, obviously, when we're doing it, we have raffles. We have a bunch of raffle items that you can you can donate five five dollars to be involved with. Uh, we also have you know as much of this charity, the Moon Deficiency Foundation, is about raising money, but it's also about like raising awareness. There's not enough people that know about it. And so my, half of my battle is just getting you to know, and this event is great at that, right? Especially if a lot of people are watching. So I'm trying my best, trying my best. Is there a way to donate without bidding? Yes, yes, absolutely. There is, if you go to charity.gg, uh, you go to this website, um, I'll show you right now. You go to this website, it's charity.cdogva.gg. You can just click like donate here. And I don't know what pops up when I click this. Let me just make sure nothing sensitive pops up for me. Um, and you can, oh wow, someone gave 1500. Someone donated 1500 dollars, it's very kind. Um, okay. Yeah, so you can, let me show you real quick. When you go to this page, you can click donate here. It opens up this link and then you click donate now or add to donation if you want to get a ticket to attend in person. We still have six left. You click like donate now. What is it? And then you can just click like $10 or whatever it is. You can skip these and check out. You can change your amount, I believe. I don't know where you change your amount, actually. It's kind of weird. Let me check. Um, why is it like stuck on 10? I, it's kind of weird. Uh, is it just a straight donation page? Why can't I? Let me ask them. Skip to change amount. I can't see it. Uh, I can't see. I don't know. I think I'm dumb, chat. Payment details. Okay, let's put on my stuff first. Okay, whatever. Uh, we also have merchandise. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Uh, we also have merchandise as well, which I think you would enjoy. Um, we have, so at cdogva.com, we have a bunch of merch. Okay, you can get 10% off swag. Uh, we got shirts, we got monkey plush, monkey plush available, and an auction crew neck. Um, did, they, did they fix this yet? Oh, it's fixed. This has been on a bit now. Good. Uh, oh, dude, look at the little tag. Look at the little tag. Um, so you can get. I mean, I mean, honestly, the monkey plush goes crazy, though. The monkey plush goes crazy. Look at this boy. And chat, uh, when you buy merch, every single item, um, every single item uh, has $5 going towards charity. So uh, if you want to pre-order it, it's available until the 29th of July or June. July, July, June's been uh, June. So you can check it out. You know, consider consider checking that one out. Um, so yes, 10 weeks for shipping. Yeah, it does take a while. We gotta make them, we gotta make them. It's a pre-order, it's a pre-order, all right? You'll get it, you'll get it, all right? <laughs> Any updates on the big monkey? Yes, let me, let me grab those for you guys. I will send big monkey updates because I want to show you guys, actually. It looks, they sent me a pic from the factory. It looks big. It looks, <laughs> it looks fucking large. Holy Bro, it looks ridiculous. They're still making it, but here's where they're at. So if you don't know chat, TLDR, I've, I commissioned a six-foot monkey. A six-foot monkey plush. It's 180 centimeters large. And I commissioned it because I wanted to, I just want a girth. And it cost me $6,000. Mouses are paying for it. Mouse offered to pay for it as, as a gift for Christmas and birthday, I think. And I said, okay, sure, because I'm already losing a lot of money in the auction. So thank you very much. Okay, it won't let me... No, don't sync. I don't want to sync my contacts. Let me download these images and show you guys. And so they just sent me like... <laughs> it looks fucking ridiculous. They just sent me a preview of so far of the progress. And I said, it looks great so far. Keep it up. We want the biggest... Mon it's massive. It's fucking massive. Look at this thing. This is six foot. It looks gargantuan. Look how big this thing is. Like, that's a normal crate next to it. It's huge. I, I, I think they want me to, like, stuff it myself. I don't understand how they are going to ship this. The eyes? Yeah, I got to ask them about the eyes. I think they're going to add them on. I think they're adding the eyes on. 
It does look like, uh, that the face has been eaten. But they're going to add the eyes on, I think, after it's, like, done. Where am I going to put this in the background of my stream? It's going to be permanent background of my stream. Um, it looks like Tiltify has fixed the donations, as far as I can tell. If, if that stays at that, that would be crazy. I would be shocked if the Pokemon thing is at 55k. If that's real, that's nuts. There's no shot that's real, right? 55k is nuts. That can't be real. I, how? They'll probably get 70. Look, I mean, I'm... I'm down, because Pokey's coming. Pokey's coming to the show. So we're going to see... <laughs> Pokey's going to be there live while we close this out. So I'm very excited to see how this goes. Uh, very excited to see how this goes. I, this is like nuts. Yeah, actually insane. $55,000. $55,000. Insane. The last time, the last auction, uh, the thing that got the most money was the PewDiePie painting that went for $20,000. Um, I think there is a chance that, it, you know, it, that <laughs> this year we could raise a lot more money. We will see. I, all I know is that I think definitely opening up some of the bidding beforehand was a good idea. Did Pewds donate something this year? Yes, he did. He did indeed. He made an original painting once again. Uh, is it possible to still donate items? Things of charity. Uh, I need to check. Uh, Trisha, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I think we might have too many items right now. Uh, is our current problem. Is that I said yes to a lot of people thinking that people wouldn't give stuff. So I, I'll, I'll message you back because I saw that you messaged me and I need to reply, but I came, I came right home and I jumped on stream. I will, I will reply because right now I think we have like like 10 more than last year and we're trying to keep the same run time ish so uh, it's we'll see we'll see I I will I will message you uh, I gotta figure out what's going on I gotta talk to the team about what's happening what a problem to have well this is the thing right so like as I've told you guys many a time many a time many times um you know we didn't think this ocean was gonna happen no worries. I'll do an extra. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. And I, again, I'm, I'm really grateful that you wanted an item. I will message you back and I'll try and figure out what's going on. Uh, as I mentioned last time, last stream, many streams now, uh, the auction was very unlikely to happen. There was pretty much like, uh, it was looking like it was not going to happen. And I'd kind of accepted it wasn't going to happen this year. And then last minute, I kind of was like, all right, you know what? I want to try and get sponsors because what had happened is that we, we, I was definitely going to do it again. I was like, I want to do this again next year. I loved doing it this the first time. I want to do it a second time. And then we had a sponsor that pulled out last minute. They wanted to cover the whole show, cover everything, all taken care of. They pulled out two months before. And pretty much everyone w who is, you know, helps get the deals for, uh, for these auctions and for any of the stuff I do, uh, you know, they were like, look, two months is not enough time. Two months is not enough time to get sponsors. Um, it is, it is no brands have like money ready to go that quick. Um, uh, name and chance. Well, look, this, this is like a thing that just happens. Like this is the thing that happens. Sometimes sponsors do this. It sucks in this case that them pulling out literally nearly made the show not happen. Um, but this is something that like you generally just have to get used to happening. Like I've had sponsors pull out all the time for shit. So it, it, it sucks, but this just happens. So I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at them, right? Like I, w when they wanted to sponsor the whole thing, the person that did, I was kind of at the mindset of like, I don't believe it until the contracts and everything are all fully signed, right? So anyway, uh, we had that. And then last minute, I was like, look, let's just ask some people that we think who might be interested. Uh, and, and we'll see if they're down. So obviously, Apari always, always sponsors everything I do. They were super down right away and they were willing to support the event. Um, no questions asked, which I appreciate so much because Apari has been the GOATs nonstop. And then also a new per new people who have never sponsored us before, Power World, who also like were willing to just say, hey, look, we'll, 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 we'll throw down big. And I, I, I'm telling you guys, 
I, I don't want to tell you everything because I want you guys to have, be surprised during the show. Uh, they've done some really cool stuff. Like, this is not just a, like, hey, talk about this, yada, yada, yada. Power World have gone all out for this, and so have Apari. Like, both of them have, I think, even their inclusion has made it better. Um, so, you know, I just want to say shout out to those two. Again, you'll be, I'm sure uh, you'll see my Twitter feed. will be tons of them. Um, it's been crazy. Like, they have, they've helped so much. So, and they literally saved the show. Like, without both of them agreeing to help, this wouldn't happen. Like, this would not be happening right now. Um, and I would have been sad. <laughs> so, I'm glad we're here. I'm glad we're here right now. I'm glad we're here. Um, so, we have a bunch of cool stuff. It's going to be awesome. Uh, and they've also signed, they've also provided a, um, a, a signed poster from, I believe, the director uh, of Power World. So there's a Power World poster signed by the director that we're going to be uh, raffling or auctioning off. I'm not entirely sure right now. Got to figure it out. Uh, also on the website, as you saw, we have a Dark and Darker poster signed by the devs. Um, we also have the Lies of P box set signed by the devs. Uh, the uh, director, sorry, director. Um, so really cool stuff. We have like a bunch of amazing items. Like I'll just show you some of the ones that are on the website. There are more than this. Uh, we have the Elden Ring poster. We have the Pirate Software Challenge coin. Hang out with Mouse and me. Pokemon, as we all know. Jaden Animations play button provided by Jaden, not by Ludwig. Ludwig the Scammer. Point Crow Doodle plushies. Uh, one of them is a one of one gold one as well. Uh, hey Connor, uh, oh. I currently reside in LA and would What's be up? interested in donating an item to the auction. It's an Ooh. original self from a Walt Disney animation. I sent an email with more oh, okay. details. I will have but a look. Let me know. There's a good chance we won't be able to again because we have almost too many items this time around. But that is awesome. And please keep on to that because if we do this next time, I want to find a way that we can get more like viewer submitted items to like raffle in like a faster way. But that's awesome. I, I will see what we can do if there's any way we can quickly pivot on stuff. Anyway. Uh, oh, Coots is back. Uh, we have the Apari Kuro statues. They're pretty... One of them is big. One of them is like four foot. So mouse size. The Garfield suit that's not haunted. Uh, we have the Pagoda drawing by Felix PewDiePie. We have 16 signed copies of Clue Scott the Was edition. We have, yeah, that is real. We have 16. I had to confirm. I was like, wait, did you... 16? So, uh, we're going to be we're gonna be raffling off all of those. So, we'll be giving away 16 of them. Um, which is great. I, I, I appreciate uh, Scott coming back. What noise are you making, buddy? Uh, we have Mr. Pig, submitted by Mr. Broad, with a... Uh, with... What is it? It's signed by Chris. And also, there is... What are you chirping about, buddy? And he also put the coordinates on this pig to his favorite spot in Japan, which you'll see on the video. Well, you won't you don't get to see it. You only get to see the coordinates if you buy it or win it. Uh, from Nile Red, in one of his videos, he turned a styrofoam cup into cinnamon candies. So we'll be giving that away. Uh, another gavel, which has some text written on it, which we'll show you during the auction by Legal Eagle. Uh, we also have a one-hour coaching session with Cadrill which I'm excited for. Uh, we have the Dark and Darker poster signed by the game director. We have the Oculus headset, which Jarvis uh, used in his VR video. A real working Hatsune Miku. This is a real car. This is a Hatsune Miku. I don't think it's working right now. I think he's telling me he's getting it fixed. Uh, this is a real car. Just a straight up real car um, that is Hatsune Miku themed. Um, I think he said he's getting it fixed today. It is just a straight up car. And you can only get this if you're in the US, by the way. I don't think... We are not handling shipping. I do not have the logistics to be able to handle that. Uh, we also have uh, from Glam, who you guys, if you are big fans of the channel, will recognize. Glam is a Japanese brand that does absolute drip clothes. And you're going to be able to make a jacket and get a jacket from that. So you're going to make a jacket with them. Um, absolute giga chads. It's Their clothes are so fire. You... Being able to get your own custom jacket is nuts as well. Uh, Oversimplified has given Connor pins, which I didn't know he was doing this, but he also, which you don't see here, he has a, uh, a, a painting that I think, or a print that he made, signed by him. Um, and then we also have the Pope head from Jay Schlatt. I don't know the significance behind this, but uh, not sure what that is. Um, but I'm sure 
this will do well. Uh, we also have a Mike Wazowski figure from Trash Taste, which we all know. The legendary Mike Wazowski figure from Trash Taste is being auctioned off for a good cause. For a good cause. Mike. I'm excited to see how much Mike goes for as well. Um, we have a custom wooden Iron Mouse keyboard, which you might have seen on Twitter. will be raffled off. We have two horrific paintings by the Cold Ones guys uh, that are being uh, raffled off, I believe. Uh, we have like 15 board games from Pro ZD that are all signed. I don't know if we should raffle or auction these. I'm trying to think of what's best for this. Um, basically, we decide based on what's raffle and what's auction based off what we feel will it has more general appeal or can appeal to like a, a rich oil daddy, if you will. And there is more stuff than this, by the way, guys. There is way more stuff. We have an amazing painting from Lee Pichu. It's so good. And then we have the Florida man shoes. He literally, <laughs> you guys will see in the video, uh, the explanation, but these are literally just his shoes. He just gave his shoes. Um, straight up, just straight up shoes that he wore. So yeah, the Florida man shoes. And there is more. There is more stuff that is going to be available, um, which I'm excited for. Um... That's going to be interesting to see how much those go for. Chat being weird. Well, chat, you can be weird if you win the item and you can take it. You know what I mean? How much are you going to take, take part in the raffle? Um, it'll probably be about $5 to just take part in the raffle. I think it'll be $5 for every entry. So if you want to, let's say you really like feel like, all right, I want to donate some to charity. I really want like, I don't know, like I want a Cold Ones painting. Um, if you just want to enter every item, you do like $5 in every one. Uh, but if you want to enter a bunch into one person, you can, you know, you can just spam and, and put, donate more money. So it should be fun. It'll be fun. Are the shoes unwashed or washed? Unwashed. Of course, unwashed. They have to be unwashed. Did you get the same actors as last year? We got, I think we have the one of the same actors. So last year in the charity auction, uh, if you didn't know, uh, we had these amazing actors in the audience. Let me try and show you a clip. Uh, that was, uh, it was uh, very funny. It was one of the best parts of the show, if I'm, to be honest with you. Okay, I don't know if you can see. It was one of my favorite parts of the show, to be honest with you. I think the Germa item is where the actors popped off. I mean... Okay, let me pause the music for a second. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So these people in this row, behind the front row here, are actors. Too low. Okay, let me turn it off. Oh my, 13-5 from Yellow Alert. You're against Yellow Alert. Do you have 13-6? Of course you do. There's no question. Guys, can you start doing big numbers, please? we got to wrap this up. We're going to be here all day. All right. Let's put them all in. 13 Okay. Holding. Oh my, 13 but like towards the end of the show, I think the actors got a lot more comfortable and they started getting like... All right. Do you have 76? 7,600. Holy crap. 7,600 online. Holy crap. My mouth. This is when I was dying. Mouth. Oh. So yeah, we're going to have paid actors. I think oh, one of them is the same, but I think the other, unfortunately the other ones weren't available. Pain. Ah. 77. I have it, right? <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, did you figure out your dog? <laughs> 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 They're telling me 7,700. I drink some milk real quick. I was dying. How do you find it? How do you find actors like legit? It's LA, bro. Everyone's an actor. You just walk into a coffee shop, you'll get five. Uh, no, but they're, they're, they're great actors. They're like professional actors. <laughs> True. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and I think let's have a look. Let's see if they. This might be real. Okay, this one I definitely think is not real. It, it just got added. It's so hard to know which ones are real. I think they're trying to figure it out. When will the raffle start? The raffles will start live. So the everything's going to be running. So there'll be segments during the show. Oh, it's starting soon. There'll be segments during the show where I'll be like, all right, and we have these three items. If you want to donate $5 to charity right now in the next 30 minutes, you will be entered into a raffle. So, you know, it's... It's kind of like a fun way um, to, to, you know, get people involved. And oh, the background music's off. That's right. Let me turn that back on. Um, 55K. 
well, I know it's at like 30 is real. Like 32 is real. But even then, like 32 is crazy, chat. 32 is insane. Why not raffle early? Um, honestly, that might have been a great idea, and that's something that we could definitely figure out next time. Uh, relatively up to date at the moment, they told me. Some of them are harder to tell if they're real or not, but we'll keep digging in any more checks. Okay. So I think, um, what the? Uh, yeah, honestly, I'm just, uh, the thing I'm most stoked about is that uh, we got a bunch of publicity, which we desperately needed for the event. So, because I've been doing all the promotion on my end. Mouse has been helping a lot on her channel. Lots obviously we've been helping. But to get something kind of organic like this is great. And the more the more views we get on the, the show, the better, right? That means that I have more chance of making some money back. Um, we raise more money. Uh, we have uh, more people watching. So hopefully that, uh, you know, maybe next time we do the show, more people are interested in helping support the show. Um, so I'm, I'm overall, I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, and, you know, these fake bids, although it's very annoying, uh, at the end of the day, they they do get removed, right? And there are still some real big bid real bids there that are huge. So I'm 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 okay with it. Um uh, hold on. Are you like I'm burning up? It is quite hot in here. It is quite hot. I won't lie. Definitely a bit atsui. Okay. Um you should auction off a spot in the RV. That's a that's a long time. I hope there's secrets you're not sharing with us. There are some secrets. There are some secrets. Is the auction multiple days or is it over now? Uh, it's not over yet. Um, still going. Anything that is up for auction now that you see will be closed out live. So you anything you, that is up for auction now, you'll watch end live. It'll basically be like the 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 last moments of some of these items, right? Because we kind of figured for some of these items, it makes more sense to um, to have like skipping the, the, the start, right? Like we know some items are gonna go for a lot. So why not just skip to like the last part? We can keep it exciting. Because last year, you know, like the, like some items we know are gonna go for more than 5K. So what's the point of like showing that first part if we can just start from there and then kind of get the last minutes? How long will the auction be? Uh, probably the same as last time, about five hours, if I had to guess. Um, should be five hours. Someone said, are the donations going 100% to charity? Yeah, I mean, I don't touch it. It, it the, That donation's going to charity. I think, obviously, the credit card companies take their cut. And I think Tiltify takes a percentage uh, for running the platform. But it doesn't touch me at all. It goes straight to the charity. Uh, and the reason why... Most creators don't want to collect the money themselves that that comes with a lot of tax implications if you have to touch money. I don't want to touch the money. I just want all of the, the money to go to the Immune Efficiency Foundation and as much go to it directly, right? So that's what I'm hoping for. Made outfit coming back. Fuck. Fuck. Um, not ideal. Not ideal. <laughs> Made, let's go. It's way better if it goes straight to it. Yeah, exactly. One chip challenge again. Isn't that shit illegal now? <laughs> Isn't that just like illegal? <laughs> Eat the hottest gummy bear this time. It's illegal for kids. Well, guys, I think I got a weak stomach, you know? I think, I think I'm not built for it. I don't think I'm built for it. Imagine telling yourself 10 years ago to be wearing a maid costume in front of everyone. Yeah, I know, right? Um, okay, let me have a look. What are we looking at here? Okay. Sorry, chat. I gotta check this link real quick. I'm gonna open up a crazy sketchy link on my browser. Okay. What about Power World outfit? Dude, if Power World gave me an outfit, 100% I'd wear it. No doubt. Damn, Jack really wants that Elden Ring poster. <laughs> he does. He does very much want that. 
he he is he is locking it down. I, he he did message me. He said the only thing holding him back was his credit card company. <laughs> he said that was the only thing holding him back was the credit card company, which I <laughs> which I find very funny. Also, that seemed like. I feel like that has to be the main limiting factor of these bids, right? When we're getting to like the, the 10k plus range, like surely there is just a limit on people's credit cards, right? Because this is not like a, a pay in four installations. It's like a pay right away. Like I think the moment the au auction ends, they, they charge your card. Um, how do they know it's fake bid it, from various different, inf they're using a lot of different information to figure out which ones are fake. Some of them are just very obviously fake. Others, we don't know. Um, but we are figuring it out and it's, and it's, we are getting to the bottom of it. Either way, the main thing is that on the day we should be fine and we should know which ones are real and which ones aren't and make sure that as much money as possible goes towards charity. Uh, so very excited about that. You can use your bank instead. I mean, some banks, I, I think if I try to transfer for 50 K, my bank would be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> and a reminder. Just make sure you guys all are aware. Again, because there are people coming in. If you go to charity.cdogva.gg, this is like the, the kind of portal for everything. All the information about the event is all here. This is where you're going to, if you have a question about something, it's it's here. Uh, and also, merch. If you go to cdogva.com, just cdogva.com, uh, you can pick up merch. $5 of every item will be donated to charity. Um, we're, we're going to try and have it so that it, it's added live as well. So that like when a merch item is added, that it goes up like $5. Um, so each item, $5 goes to charity. And the monkey plushes will be shipped out in seven to 10 weeks. This is a pre-order. So you're pre-ordering the monkey plush uh, and the pre-orders end on the 29th of July. So yeah, that's it. And then a cute little t-shirt. It's a nice little graphic. It says banana bids. So I gotta burp the cope. It's making me bloated. Um, and we have a nice little uh, crew neck, which looks nice, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Can't wait to see it live. You know, also, you know, we've done the show once. The, the show is gonna look uh, and feel a lot similar, but hopefully improved in ways that makes it just a lot more fun. Um, you know, I'm, I don't wanna spoil anything because I, I want you guys to be excited and pumped for the day. But it's gonna be good. Um, um, I think it's. I think it's. I'm. I'm pretty confident it's gonna be better than last year, and it's gonna be just as fun. Um, the side of the net, the VIP ticket. When I say, saw how low they were, I missed the TT live when it was in my area. I'm hyped for another chance to see your show IRL. Nice. I'm excited. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun show. I'm. I'm just excited all around, and it should be good fun. When does the final list for all the I auction items get locked in and posted? The, the problem is, is that creators are unreliable <laughs> and people have still not sent everything in. Uh, other people are making custom stuff for the event. Um, I don't want to spoil it, but I'm telling you some, some of these items that people have, like they, they told me they're sending in. So like, like for example, um, I, actually I, I shouldn't name. Uh, I asked a creator months ago. I'm like, hey, can you make an item? He's like, yep, I'm making an item. He's like, I'm going to need all the time to get it made but I am, I am making it. So it's like, all right, okay, so I gotta leave the space. So I gotta not like, you know, panic about not having enough. So there are some really amazing stuff being added. Um, it, it's gonna be good. The, uh, basically, I still am getting items that I've asked for weeks ago and that have been promised weeks ago. Creators, it turns out, not good at replying. Must be Michael Reeves. <laughs> Michael Reeves actually has given his item, to be fair. It's just not, he just dropped it off in the weird location. <laughs> So yeah, um, exciting times. Will the video work? Yes, the, his video better work this time. It's because Michael last time sent me a goddamn video through Twitter and you just cannot download Twitter videos like easily. Um, are you nervous or just fully excited? I'm really excited. You know, I've done it once. I, I know the flow of the show, so I feel very confident. I know the vibe. Uh, I think it was just, there's just a lot of stress involved getting all the creators there and getting all the items in on time. There are a lot of, I mean, we all know it, creators are unreliable and getting creators to show up and getting creators to give the items on time is always tough. So my job for the past month has been harassing everyone. 
Um, uh, will you cry again? I hope not. But you know, I just get emotional in the moment. I don't like crying much. But then uh, sometimes you're just in the moment, you just get really, you know, caught up in the motions. Is Cutie on any side? Yes, Cutie is. But we gotta like, again, we gotta just like get it all sorted. There's a lot going on. And there's a lot to juggle. There's a lot to juggle. There's so much to juggle. Thank you for all the subs as well. I appreciate all of these subs. Uh, QR8, Celtic Spider, thank you for the five. Twice. I really appreciate it. Uh, do have a lot of help. Well, yeah, look, I mean, I, I'm, you know, this being produced by Offbrand. So, you know, I'm paying them to, to help out with the event. So a lot of the production stuff I don't have to worry about. I just got to worry about getting all the items and the flow of the show. Um, uh, okay. Is guest list being updated? Yeah, I mean, the guest list, I think, is just, <laughs> just kind of useless right now because I feel like a lot of creators are coming, but it's just kind of hard to lock down who exactly is coming because some people have messaged me like, oh, I'm, I'm, I might show up. I'm like, oh, which one is it? Okay. Guest list is fluid. Yeah, so the creators might show up. Also, creators can go and leave. Like, the show's five hours. So I told creators, I was like, hey, look, if, if, you're, if your item's early and you don't want to stick around the whole time because five hours is a long time, you don't have to. Um, and likewise, if they want to come later, they can. So, you know, it's it's you, you should see the audience size fluctuate throughout the entire show. Are you going to miss Mike? I, I might, you know, I might bid for Mike. I might need to. I might have to. I might have to bid for Mike. Connor, you're a little quiet. I don't think I'm a little quiet. I think I'm a little loud, if anything. 1% of QT's yearly struggle. I don't envy QT and what QT has to go through. Uh, it's just, I think it just adds another layer because I have to get something from them and get a video and get them to show up, maybe. Um... Okay. Uh, what the fuck? All right. Mike's going to start his own podcast. Imagine imagine Disney bit it. They're like, absolutely fucking not. Can't have this. No one else can have this. No one else can have Mike. <laughs> Um, you would bid one gajillion. Well, Mike is available, so you can bid one gajillion dollars. Is the AC not working in Lud's house? It's roasting in here. I gotta, I gotta like, I gotta fucking find out. Um, and I can also only really get items from creators that I also know. Um, so a lot of the times, if there's like, you're like, oh, why is this creator not here? It's like, well, I don't really know them. And, you know, if I don't know them or we, you know, there's no way to contact them, there's no way I can ask. If, if we follow each other, I, I, you know, and they're a big creator and I, I like what they do, I'll, I definitely would have asked them a while back. So, you know, I try my best. Why no item from Shohei Otani? <laughs> well, you know, the goat. You know, he's kind of busy. You know, I did ask. I, you know, except we, we follow each other, obviously. I did ask him. I was like, Shohei, what's up? How you doing? Long time no see. So that baseball thing's going well, huh? So I thought he would be willing, but no, he said no. He said no. What's he doing? Sport? What are you doing? Sport something? What is that? What is that about? What is that about? Mr. Beast don't know. Well, listen, look, look, I don't know Mr. Beast. If Mr. Beast wanted to, of course I, I would. Of course, chat, but we have to be realistic. I'm a, I'm like a medium-sized creator in the grand scheme of things. I don't have that kind of crazy reach. Uh, he's going to be future president. Yeah, I can't get an item from a future president, chat. Medium. Well, look, I mean, look, compared to like those numbers, I'm like, I'm like an ant. You know what I mean? I'm crazy. Uh, after all that cycling, you'd hoping to be at least a small size crit. <laughs> you'd think, you'd think I'd be big. Chat, right? I just gotta, I just gotta, I gotta, I gotta cycle more. Oh my God, I'm sweating. Is the AC just not on? 
Also, Coots is just chilling right next to me again. That's Coots right there, that little white flock boy. Coots, what's up, Coots? Why you, what if I pull this closer? We can keep the shit. Coots is just staring at me. <laughs> What's up, Coots? Coots has been chilling there the whole time. Coots like, not again. Listen, listen, okay? As I learned from all the comments, if Coots comes near me and chills, that is the biggest compliment that Coots could give me. So I shouldn't have tried to pet Coots is what everyone told me, and, and they were probably right. There's probably some truth to that. Uh, are there names that you're excited to go up? Uh, you know, look, I think that this year we have we have a, a very, very amazing catalog of items. I feel like, obviously last year, I think people didn't really know what the vibe was. And this year, a lot of people have really shown up to to, to give really interesting items that they find interesting uh, or very, uh, like, amazing items, right? So I think, I think we're already, like, from like just a, even if we just ran the same show exactly, uh, nothing different, I think we would, it would be a better show just because we have so many cool items this year that I think people would want to bid for. Um, and of course, I'm auctioning off Coots as well, which I haven't told a lot about. I'm sure he won't mind, it's for charity. Um, but I think it's, I think it's gonna be great. I'm, I'm just pumped. I'm just pumped. Um, so I'm just excited. I like. I just can't wait to to see it all. I'm just pumped to get back there. Not pumped to lose a bunch of money personally, but I also don't care at this point because I'm like, you know what? I just want to raise a fuck ton of money for charity, and I took one billion sponsors this week, last week. So I'm kind of pumped for that. So, so when I get back, chat, I'm going to maybe do more sponsors, and we will see <laughs> how how that all goes. But excited for it nonetheless. Sorry about complaining about that, chat. I shouldn't complain. I'm just pumped about the auction. Can I bid a bajillion dollars for Coots? Coots would go crazy. Um, and then when I get back to Japan, I'll probably do a few normal streams and then I'll finally, you know, I gotta do Elden Ring DLC at some point, which I will do, which I will do. When is drinking stream? I think tomorrow, but I think we're, we're trying to figure out how it's gonna work. I think Lud, you know how Lud is. Lud's are kind of say things, think second. So I think in terms of the logistics of that stream, we're still figuring out. But tomorrow we are, if you recall, last year around the same time we did an, we did a crane game, not a crane, uh, an um, arcade stream, uh, which people really loved. And we're doing that again. Uh, we're going to go to a different arcade this time. And I want to rematch. I want to beat Lod. I feel like I can, I can beat him. So we're doing a rematch of that stream. It's going to be very fun. And then in the evening, I, it'll probably end stream for like an hour or two or three or four and then we'll come back on on the evening and we're going to be doing a drinking stream where we just drink an ungodly amount we're just going to drink an ungodly amount coots what are you doing boy coots what why are you sitting like that that kind of hurt your back like you just your back's not fucked up from that Oh, girl. Oh, my God. I don't know what's wrong with me. Can I say... Oh, boy. Boy. I forget. I feel... <laughs> I feel like boy can be used as a gender-neutral term. B-O-I. All right? I Maybe I'm crazy. I feel like boy... Boy is gender-neutral, even though literally most of history is not boy. No. Like, boy, what are you doing? Right? You know what I mean? Do you think pet... I can pet coots. Oh, he's licking me! Oh, he's licking me! You, you cuddly. You cuddly, aren't you? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, he's a good kitty. Oh, what do you taste? What do you taste? Is it, is it the sweat of a British man? Oh. Oh. All right. Salty fingers. Yeah, probably the salt. <laughs> She's telling you the bar. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does it what, what, what does it mean if the cat licks me? Can someone does that mean bad or, or good? Is that, I feel like it's good, right? It's, uh, uh, the cat is grooming you. That's good, good. Okay, good. 
Family. Yes, we're family. I think we are family. Um, I agree. I agree. That's good that they are licking you. Okay, good. This is great. Just wonderful. Um, wait. Did I accidentally... Did I just make a group DM and add like four people who I shouldn't have? Hello. Sorry, chat. Okay. Basically, I, I have done not, not a whole lot, and I honestly, I would have loved to have streamed more while I've been here. Sorry for like going silent there. I, I cannot, t I, know I know I made fun of Mouse for not being able to talk and type, but I cannot type and talk. Um, I basically, my entire job the past couple of days has just been coordinating and getting people in touch with the right people so that we can get all the items. It is a nightmare. I'm not going to lie, chat. It's a, it's a goddamn nightmare. Okay. Tiltify just told me that um That's a real. That's real. Wow. Okay. The that one's real. Okay, damn. The Jaden Animations play button 13,000 bit is real. Wow. That is kind of crazy. Okay, damn. God damn. Yeah, I felt bad. I kind of like messaged Tiltify being like, hello, the house is on fire. Can you please put out the fire? The 55k I don't think is real. I think 30 is real. But again, even then chat, 30 is insane. 30k is fucked. 30 is nuts. Okay. Things were to mention. Okay, nice. Okay, yeah, 30, 32k is the real bid, I believe, right now on Pokies. Which, again, for charity, is Bonjour, nuts. Because that means dog voice just actor. off the items Don't that we have in about free making bids that alone, money back. like before I'll the help auctions. You out with that. Oh. Starting with now. Mm -hmm. A little disappointed the charity auction is happening when the Smash convention is on. I'll still try to keep up with it on the day. <laughs> um again the the fact that we we have not even started the auction right we're already at something close to like uh what is it like that 80k raised already uh, is is it insane like that's that's great that's awesome we haven't even started the show yet um cuz my goal is just to raise more than last year that's always like my my general like rough goal Obviously, raising any amount of money for charity, even if it's less than the year before, you know, is is uh, is amazing. Uh, and you know, combined with the VIP ticket sales, we're already at like eighty-seven k. We're like we're like getting close to. And I think with the merch sales, actually, I think with the merch sales, um, it pushes us over like ninety something. So we're already like nearly a hundred k already, which is crazy. So you know, you know, I'm just. I just, I just want to raise my own charity. That's, that's, that's all I'm trying to do. Um, and I'm very I'm very grateful that I, you know, I have such a great community that's always willing to support me. And I appreciate you guys so much for always being behind me in these crazy stuff. It's just I, great. I love it. You guys are amazing. How much did we raise last year? We raised um, uh, 350,000 last year, if I remember correctly. What is Coots doing? Coots, what are you doing, buddy? Sorry, Coots. I'm going to scoot you a little closer. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's okay. 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 I'll just bring you a little closer. I want to show everyone your glorious self. <laughs> How you doing, Coots? Coots. There you go. Having a good time, Coots? Having a good time? Yes. Yes, you are. Who's a good kitty? Oh, you want to lick me? Oh, I won't say no. I won't say no. Coots, you're so cute. You're so cute. See, we've made up, chat. We've made up. The redemption arc. The redemption arc. Chat. And everyone was clowning on me. 
everyone was clowning on me saying you you don't know what you're doing you don't know what your tail's going again you stop now you don't know what you're doing the guy doesn't know what's going on okay she's who's pissed all right maybe i gotta quiet up i gotta quiet up quiet up real quick he's got a negative cat riz you spent 40 minutes trying yet yeah, trying to build a bond that we now share we now share a bond that is arguably unbreakable. Isn't that right, Coots? Can you like just like move if you agree? There we go. See? A playful tail. Alright. See? Look at the little tail wag. Look at the little tail. I don't even I didn't even need snacks this time. I didn't even need the, I didn't even need snacks this time. Best thing to do is get on her level with your friend. I don't think I need to. Me and me and me and me and Coot's got a bond. Um, so you're gonna get a cat when No, I still don't. I still am a dog person. I just need that unrequenting love that dogs offer. Unfortunately, cats, although very cute, I just need a dog that just is so cute and like just refuses not to love. So that's why. That's why I'm... What type of dog? Dude, I want a golden retriever. It'd be so nice. They're just... The energy is what I need in my life. Just unrelenting positivity. Um, You got Pete for that. <laughs> what the fuck are you calling Pete a golden retriever? <laughs> oh my god. You live in an apartment though? Yeah, I mean, eventually I'd love to. When I, when I have the space for a dog. Right now in Japan, I can't. But. Sorry, I'm just... I'm distracting the chat. I'm distracted, all right? Okay, a little... I, I'm gonna go for another pet. I'm going crazy. Oh, oh, oh. So cute. Do you pet a head? How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, is that good or bad? It's meowing good or bad coots. That's probably bad. <laughs> Looked up and goes, meow. Uh, she's getting annoyed. Okay, guys. All right. She warned me. She warned me. <laughs> it could be a good purr. It could be a good purr. Coots, is it a good purr? Coots, what do you think? How you doing, Coots? How you doing? How you doing? You like that? You like that? Oh, oh, you want a little taste, huh? Speaking of Pete, is he giving it item? If so, can you say what it is? <laughs> Tail wag equals bad? Well, I mean, I mean, you know. Speaking of Pete, is he giving an item? Pete, in casual Pete fashion, is doing a last minute entry. I've been asking for a while, and he's finally getting it to me. So that's why he's not on the website yet. Tell why can be good or bad. I feel like it's a good one. I'm feeling the energy, chat. I felt like it was a good energy, right? All right. He said he recorded it last night, and right. Tail wag is noise. Yeah, it was a yeah, it was a slow and gentle tail wag, right? Which means relaxed. We're relaxed, aren't we, Coots? Yeah, we are. One day, my dream is to have Coots willingly go on my lap without me having a bribe. No bribery intended. That's my goal. That's my goal right now in life, fully. All right. Don't pet cats when they can't see your hand. They see a surprise dad. No, not me, not me with Coots. You see the surprise, a welcomed surprise. All right. Oh my God, Tina. Hey, Tina, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. It was, uh, guys, I found out the other day that Tina is a nutty singer. Tina sings so good. Uh, Tina went crazy on the karaoke. You popped off. Uh, welcome Raiders. What are you saying? I'm, I'm telling you, uh, Chad, I heard it. Um, it was it was nutty. 
Oh, also, Tina, I've got to message you. I got to message you as well, Tina. Um, oh my God. Well, okay, sorry. Uh, welcome, Raiders. Sorry. I don't know if you know who I am uh, or what we're doing here. Welcome. I'm Connor, C Dog VA. Um, I'm having a charity auction on July 19th, uh, 2 p.m. PT, where I got a bunch of creators uh, to give items uh, and donate it for charity. We're trying to raise as much money for charity as possible. And we had a bit of a drama today because Pokimane's item went for $500,000. Uh, now that was trolls using fake credit cards and stolen credit cards. But here are some of the items that are available for bid right now. More will be added as we go uh, up until the day. And there's gonna be a bunch of items being bid on live. And the Pokimane, that is real. It is being bid for $32,000, a gaming session with Pokimane. Um, that is real. And we also have uh, Jaden Animation's Diamond Play Button. We have Pirate Software Official cha Challenge Coin. We have a signed Elden Ring poster, signed by the director of Elden Ring, Miyazaki-san himself. And uh, Hangout with Me and Mouse is at $20,000, uh, which is also crazy. These are all crazy. Uh, if you want to find out anything about the show, you can go to charity.cdogva.gg. The link is also in the pinned comments. If you want to find out more about it, you can do. All the information about the show is there. I uh, hope to see some of you guys there on July 19th. I'm very excited for it. And right now we're just talking about it. Right now we're just talking about it. Just, you know, talking about what just happened because uh, Twitter was blowing up for a minute with the Pokebid going crazy at $500,000, <laughs> which is ridiculous. And some streamers were getting involved. Um, so it's going good. And we also have um, raffle items. So there'll be some items from creators that will go up for raffle. So, you know, not everything's going to be dumb, crazy money. Some of this will be uh, raffled, so you can just enter for like $5 and hopefully get an item. So I appreciate that. Coots, what's going on, man? How you doing? You doing good? Coots. Coots. What's up, Coots? He's chilling. She's chilling. If only Coots, if only we could, we could also auction Coots. We would raise so much money. Unlimited money. Unlimited money. Sleeping? Are you sleeping, Coots? Maybe Coots is sleeping. I don't know. Oh, tail wag. You called dibs on cute. On Coots. Um Yeah, the yeah, the auction thing of me does look creepy. I do look like a fucking Five Nights at Freddy's like animatronic in this image. Because the lighting is uh the lighting looks creepy when it's cut out. I look like I'm just about to like like, you just see me in the doorway and you got to quickly, like, close the door. <laughs> you turn the light on. Ah! The fuck is that? <laughs> oh, God. Also, I don't know. This is, like, doesn't auction online in person with the goal of raising one point. Is that the goal? I never said that. I don't know what this is. <laughs> 1.5 is crazy. I, I did not have that as my goal. So, that's interesting. MLN Connor. <laughs> That does, that does seem accurate, I would say. The light should have been under my chin. Yes, lighting should always be under your chin, chat. As well. Yes, obviously. What is the goal? I mean, the goal is just more than last year. The goal is just more than last year, you know? Uh, we raised 350000 last year, and I'm pretty confident we can raise as much, if not more, this year. I think we have amazing items. Hopefully more people want to watch. I'm just pumped. I think it'll be a great time. Goal is 10 mil. I don't think so, unless we had some giga uh, oil daddy who was willing to donate a couple hundred mil. That would be great. Good luck with the auction. Incredible course. Thank you so much. Uh, I sent I sent uh, Pokey uh, a voice note earlier that she could play on a stream talking a bit about the charity. Um, there will be... Um, uh, before we, the show happened, I, I spent like uh, uh, three hours... Um, interviewing uh people who have been helped by idf the immune deficiency foundation um and, and talking with them about how the immune deficiency foundation has helped them you know how pi or cvid or uh, cgd there's so many different like acronyms and, and so many different varying uh very difficult diseases under the same umbrella and so got to interview a bunch and that'll be cut up and uh on the show as well um would be very exciting um, so I've had a chance to talk to them. I spoke to a lot of people involved who the charity has helped. And it just makes me more passionate to want to help um, and spread awareness about primary immune deficiency and uh, uh, compare, com what is it? 
common variable immune deficiency. So, oh my God, there's so many acronyms. Um, yeah, just trying to like try my best to, to be an active part of the charity and just use my platform for good, you know? Um, CBT, no, not trying to raise awareness for CBT. No, not trying to raise awareness for that one. Maybe in future. Maybe in future. Maybe if my channel pivots. Um, is Mouse going to be on the robot? I believe so. I believe so. Try not to cry. I will try not to cry. I'm, there's a 90% chance I'll cry again, but we will see. I will try my best not to. Was the 500k real? No, sadly not. Sadly, people were being mean and trolling the, an event for charity, which is crazy. But we are still at a, a crazy $32,000, which is nuts. <laughs> um, no hot chip challenge this time. Yeah, I might give that one a miss. I felt like it burdened my ability to perform as opposed to add. It was fun for a little bit, but then my stomach hurt so much that I was not okay. Hottest gummy bear. I mean, that also sounds like pain as well, you know? That also just sounds like pain as well. Will there be some kind of post show this time? Uh, no. I think when the show ends, it just ends. Um, so yeah. Um, I mean, it's already a large show, so I don't think there will be. Shotgun a beer. I'm down to shotgun a beer. <laughs> I'll do it. Sure. Uh, what else? Don't do it mid auction. I could do it. I could shotgun a beer and be fine. One beer is not going to do shit to me, chat. What What do you think I am? You think I'm, you think I'm American? What the fuck? Um. Do it, you won't. Why do you guys think I can't handle one beer? A weak drink. I'm not like you guys. I'm not American, all right? Americans can't drink for shit. It's supposed to be a punishment. Yeah, I would. It's. It wouldn't be a punishment. It would be like fun. Run on a treadmill while auctioning something. Not a bad idea, actually. You have a weak stomach. Chug a beer. Eat multiple Japanese. <laughs> okay. These are terrible ideas, chat. Some of them are not bad, actually. Chug a Budweiser, Budweiser light. That's... I can't chug filth. Eat an entire orange. I refuse. That's where I draw the line. We don't... I'm not much to be tortured, you know? Speaking of torturing, I'm in a pet coot. How you doing, Coop? How you doing? How you doing, Coop? Oh, so cute. So cute. Bro won't eat an orange for charity. I'll, I'll gag and throw up. <laughs> Shave my head. Um, this often is a challenge that gets offered. I barely got what's left, Chad. If I shave it, it's not coming back. <laughs> That's the problem. I got to keep what I got, you know? I got to keep what I got. It will not come back. The beard will come back. But then when I shave my beard, I, I, people will think that a child is running an auction. And I don't want to be flagged for a kid's channel on YouTube. So I can't handle that. You look rugged today. I did trim my beard down a little bit. And the, mu the mustache, I try to trim accordingly to keep it full. I like my mustache right now. I think it looks good. The return of Colin. Yes, the return of Colin. <laughs> Do a shoey with Ludwig's shoe. Crocs. That, okay, okay. Shit. All right. That sounds awful. Close the bathroom door. No, I like the bathroom door open. I like that. That's my that's my quiet place. <laughs> oh god, dude, I gotta I gotta eat something. What should I eat for dinner? I don't even know. Let me ask. Let me text. I don't know what Lod's doing right now. I'm doing the yard later, so I gotta text. What are you? What are you doing for food, boss? Um, I've got a lot of messages since I got live. What the fuck? Yeah, when the pokey stuff started going crazy on Twitter, uh, I started getting a lot of messages. People being like, hey, I would love to give an item, which is I'm very grateful for. But I was kind of overwhelmed a little bit. When is Soak for Hope happening? Got to ask Chris about that. I'm still down to Soak for Hope, though. I'm still down to Soak for Hope. Uh, Mouse is watching us. Why is Mouse watching? Mouse, are you stream sniping me? What are you doing, huh? 
What are you doing, huh? Okay, I'll open your channel. All right. Shave your beard like High Guys. I listen, High Guy pull it, pulls it off. I think it would look fucking horrific on me, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay, I'm gonna. Hello, Cooch. <laughs> I pet Cooch and he goes meow, meow. <laughs> All right. Uh, biryani. I, you know what? I have, I've spoken to so many people in LA. No one ever wants to get Indian food, ever. No one ever wants to get Indian food. What's up with that? Do they just not fuck with it here? In the UK, I feel like it's the thing. Like that's all we eat. I hope you're doing well in that Californian heat. Uh, maybe it's got something to do with Californian heat. I don't know. I don't know. Mexican for sure. I do like Mexican. I've eaten a lot of Mexican food though while I've been here. I've eaten a lot of Mexican food. Maybe too much, chat. Um, let me make sure. Okay. Get another Cubano. Oh, Cubano would be good. I had Italian food for lunch and dinner yesterday, chat, so I can't do that. I can't spam that. Ordered monkey plush and can't wait to give it to my four-year-old niece. She loves monkeys. Oh, hell yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, yeah, the monkey plush, again, available at cwa.com. Sorry to shill. $5 from every item chat goes towards charity. So if you uh, want to pick up any of these merchandises, you can do. And $5 of each item goes towards charity. So, yeah, please do. If you want to buy any of the merch, it's, it's a pre-order. It's available until July 29th. Um, again, it goes towards charity. $5 of each purchase. So consider doing it. What are, we, what are we bids at right now? Where are we at? Still the same. This is, I mean, this again, this is still crazy bids. Absolutely insane bids. Big money on these items. Um, and again, one final push. If you want to find out what all the items are going to be, as well as more about the show, simply go to charity.cdogva.gg. Very simple. Oh my gosh. Kutz, why are you so cute? I think Durst was here earlier too. I think you... I think Durst went over there. Durst like went in the like... There's like a bunch of stuff and Durst went in between it all. Um, So yeah. Get something from Porto's Bakery. I have got stuff from Porto's Bakery. It's fire. But maybe not right now. What's up my beautiful Welsh game? Game are you meant to say? Prime Day is tomorrow. No money after that boss. I never bought shit on Prime Day. I feel like it... Just, it's like not that good. I don't know if I'm crazy. I feel like they, they don't actually reduce prices on that much stuff. We have to get the word out on Kai. Listen, Kai's got a giant statue. So I don't know if Kai would even be interested in a poster signed by Miyazaki. He got like a one of one goddamn statue. But hey, I mean, I don't know if it was signed by Miyazaki Sound himself. So I mean, maybe he wants a poster. But if he does, hey, I'm down. More bidding wars equals more money for charity. So I'm down, you know? I don't know if his statue's signed. If it's signed, that's, then it's crazy. He's the Elden Lord. <laughs> would you auction a voice acting session with you? I think I would be... Right. I don't think... I feel like I couldn't do that good of a job. I feel like I, I don't have... I don't do that good of a job. Are you streaming from a Norwegian prison? That's a new one. Jaden's play button is not Ludwig's. Yeah, it's not. It's it's Jaden donated. So Jaden donated her play button. And then this is after Ludwig was like, I'm going to donate Jaden's play button that I stole. But then Jaden was like, no, no, I'm going to donate my play button. And then I think Ludwig got told off for donating a Jaden Animations play button. So now it's Jaden Animations is donating her own play button, which she's allowed to do. Which is very funny. Classic Ludwig. Hey, Sidov, I have uh, Vasilitis GPA, which is an autoimmune disease. Thanks for supporting this charity. Hopefully, make my life a bit better. Uh, I will uh, be honest because a lot of people do mix this up. Um, 
uh, primary immune deficiency and common variable immune deficiency is the opposite of autoimmune diseases. Autoimmune system, auto, from my understanding of what Mouse explained to me, autoimmune is where your, uh, your immune system is attacking itself and primary immune deficiency is where your immune system just doesn't work. You just don't have one. Or I think you have too much, right? You have too much. But listen, here, here's how I feel. And like, I'm not a, an, a, a, an expert on this, right? I feel like all of this stuff is not very well known. So having any kind of, you know, exposure to any of this and awareness raised um, is good. Regardless of if it's this one or that one, I think also just getting people to know about this stuff is helpful, uh, even though it is slightly different. And people do mix that up a lot. Uh, as Mouse told me, Mouse told me off when I said autoimmune, because I said autoimmune one time, because I heard that a bunch. But I listen, I think it helps. Uh, plasma donations equals autoimmune treatments anyway. If that's true, big, huge. Um, I, you know, again, a, a, a part of the show is that I want to encourage people to donate plasma, and hopefully Mouse will talk about that as well. Now it's time for a Let's Pet Coots break. He like smiled. How you doing, Cooch? How you doing, Cooch? How you doing? Oh, she I keep. <laughs> oh my goodness, Cooch, you're so cute. Cooch, you're so cute. Why such a why such a perfect cat, Cooch? God damn. What happened to the 500 uh, Pokemon bit? It was fake. Sadly, people are not cool and faked for charity, which is so sad. But we still have 32,000s raised uh, on that, which is, again, an absurd amount and not any amount that I thought. That's a record. That is an absolute record for the auction. So I'm pumped. Either way, I'm, I'm absolutely pumped. That's um, that's incredible. That's amazing. Um, I'm very pumped. Um, how did you find out it was fake? Well, look, when it started going past like 50, I was like, okay, this feels ridiculous because like 50 is just way too much. And I know that some of these streamers have a lot of money, but 50 is crazy. Um, it's a shame, but hey, look, it, it raised awareness for what's going on in the charity auction, so I'm happy. Um, right, chat, I got to get ready because I got to get going. This is always going to be a short stream. It has been crazy. I hope you guys had fun. Um, it's been a lot of fun. And again, I'm streaming tomorrow. I'm streaming a lot tomorrow, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. I'm, I'm just so excited for the auction. I'm excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow will probably be the last stream, I think, maybe, asterisk, before the auction. We'll see. Uh, like I told you, Chad, I've been, doing a lot of, I've been doing a lot of streaming whilst I've been here. I feel like I've done a lot of streams in America and Europe. Like, I feel like I traveled, but I, I try to stay on top of it. So I appreciate it. What time tomorrow? Um, the, uh, the arcade one, I think, is happening at 1 p.m. PT. It's happening at 1 p.m. PT. And then the drinking one will happen in the evening. I'm not sure what time. We'll see. Coots? Gucci, are you, why are you, what are you doing? You're so cute. You know that? Look at you being cute. Look at you being cute. So I'm trying to give you as many streams as possible. I'm trying to give you a banger charity auction. I'm trying my best, chat. I'm trying my best uh, whilst traveling, whilst not having a great setup. You know, I'm just, I'm just trying to do my best. Scratch behind the ears. All right, fine. You like it? Behind your ears, Gucci. How does it feel? How does it feel to be the cutest cat? So cute. So cute. So cute. Oh, you want to taste? Smell? He's <laughs> like, what the fuck? What is this? Hello. Hello. 
You're so cute. You're so cute. Look how much fur you have. You're furring everywhere. We're, we're, we're friends now. We're friends. We're friends. We're friends. Aren't we cute? Yeah, we're friends. Yeah, okay. We're pretty, we're pretty friends. Yeah, we're, we're kind of best friends. How much to put Ludwig's Sorry, stinky Lord. socks in your mouth? I'll start the bid at $100. Ew. Maybe you'll convince Coots to love you by just you've annoying her enough. You gave the classic $5 Stockholm enough. syndrome you're not serious. strat. You're not, you're not serious. If you, if you were serious, you would do $100 right now, but you won't. You can't. You don't got the bands, Emma. All right? I know it. Hello, Coots. Would you like a high five? Would you like a high five? Can I get a pull? I can hear him breathing. I hear her breathing. Hello. Would you like? Can, can I get your hand? Can I get your paw? He's, he's like, what the fuck? He's like, what the fuck? All right. What am I doing? I don't know. I was just holding my hand. And Coots is like, the fuck is this guy doing? This guy sucks. Maybe he's... Maybe is it because I have all of Coot's fur all over me? Is that maybe why Coots thinks I'm like chill? Because like, ah, no, this one's cool. This guy's not a threat. He's chill. He's chill. God, Coots is so cute. You're so cute. I, like, it's crazy how Coots doesn't even know that I'd, I'd die for her. Coots doesn't even know me. Coots doesn't know anything. Isn't that? Yeah, you don't even know I'd die for you. All right, well... Chat, I just wanted to hop on to talk about the auctionness crazy. I'm going to head out. Just wanted to do a little chatty stream. Not too long. I want to stay on too long anyway because I got to get going. Uh, but hope you guys had fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon. Sorry. I'll be on at 1 p.m. PT roughly. So I'll see you guys there. But uh, I'll leave you guys for mouse for now. Have a good time. T try. Have a good time. Let me know how it goes. Let me know what you guys get up to. Appreciate it. Appreciate all of you for coming on short notice. Thank you. You guys are the best. Uh, have a great day, guys, and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's about it. Bye, guys, and see you on July 19th at 2 p.m. for the charity auction, of course. Don't forget that. Mark it in your calendars. 2 p.m. PT, July 19th. See you guys there. And don't forget that you can pre-order your amazing merch at cdovia.com. You can get all of the amazing stuffs there. I got I to gotta tell you, you can get the monkey, you can get the shirt, you can get all the good stuff right there at cdovia.com and support the charity. All right, guys, see you guys soon. Have a good day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.